Humanitarian work is a powerful way to bring people together and make a positive impact on the world. Through collective efforts, we can create a brighter future for those in need. Before the start of each school year, I organize a humanitarian action to collect school supplies for children without parental care, single parent families, children at social risk, and children with special needs. This initiative ensures that every child has the tools they need to succeed in their education. Although the number of donations varies each year, they have never been less than 150 to 200, and often exceed larger numbers. These supplies are shared with children across the country, ensuring that no child is left behind. School supplies, backpacks, IT devices are being collected, especially during the pandemic. The value of each action varies from 2,000 to 7,000 euros, with help from good people in the country and abroad. This support is crucial in providing children with the resources they need. The campaigns last for two months, collecting, packaging, and distributing ready-made packages to students. Nights are the time for packaging, and days and weekends are for distribution. This dedicated effort ensures that every child receives their supplies on time. Often, in these actions, donations are also made by my students from previous generations, who are already adults and responsible people, which is my greatest joy. Their continued support highlights the lasting impact of these humanitarian efforts. I also received great support from Macedonians living in countries throughout Europe. Some of them organized together and send help to me via secured transportation from Germany, Italy, Austria, and other countries. This international support strengthens our efforts. I also involve my students in the actions, who help in packing and preparing the donations. They also know how to participate by bringing supplies and clothing for children in need. This involvement teaches them the importance of giving back to the community. In the last five years alone, over 2,000 children in the country have received assistance in the form of school supplies. Assistance is also distributed to children from the SOS Children's Village, where there are 44 children without parental care and 98 children in foster families. Often, when purchasing school supplies, vendors in supermarkets, bookstores, and even retirees are involved. This community involvement ensures that we can gather a wide range of supplies for the children. In each campaign, assistance is provided to primary schools in the city and the country. A lot of assistance is also provided to schools in rural areas, ensuring that children in all regions have access to the necessary supplies. A donation of 3,000 books was delivered to three city schools and 16 regional schools in villages where there has never been a library or books. 250 books were delivered to the SOS Children's Village to establish a library for those children as well. At the end of each calendar year, for years now, I have been collecting Christmas packages. These are distributed to vulnerable categories of children, orphans in SOS Children's Villages, and children from foster families, bringing joy and happiness to their lives. Every year I manage to make 300 to 400 children happy with my Christmas packages. I often give out books and handmade greeting cards with the packages, adding a personal touch to each gift. Last year I distributed 350 packages, and the kindergarten also joined in the campaign with handmade greeting cards from the little children. The packages were distributed all over the country, spreading joy and cheer.
Two years ago I organized an action with the House of Happiness Association to provide assistance to premature babies in neonatology. This action united many people from North Macedonia, showing the power of community support. Diapers, creams, oils, and food were provided for all children in the neonatology department, the children's clinic, the children's clinic for pulmonary diseases, and for oncology patients. Points were set up in Skopje, Orid, and Svetinikol to collect donations from across the country. The campaign to help children at neonatology was one of the largest campaigns to help children in the country. It was also strongly supported by the media, raising awareness and encouraging more people to contribute. Many of the packages for the children at neonatology included handwritten messages to the families to persevere in the fight and win. Many of those messages were published in the media, spreading hope and encouragement. The campaign for premature babies has pushed the boundaries of the country in uniting people and bringing together and helping the most vulnerable category of children. A large number of companies have also joined in, amplifying the impact of the campaign. Last summer, the area around my town was hit by a catastrophic fire that affected over 15 villages. In addition to volunteering to put out the fire, I also collected food for the burned families, which was distributed to the church, and then to the families. Being humane is not easy, but nothing else fills the soul and restores faith in the weakest in society. I will use the last atom of strength while I'm alive for those to whom society is blind. Most of all for children. Be an example, whenever you can, help those weaker than you. Life has no point if you do not leave a trace in the future with your actions. The trace you have left in those you have helped is the trace that keeps you from oblivion.